beautiful people. How are you doing? How have you been? I'm still in Nakuru. My tour of Nakuru still continues. And um, I think one thing I love about uh, dogs or I've come to discover is that I love calm dogs. I love dogs that when I visit dogs and I can just chill with them there. People can you, there is no barking. And these dogs have not barked since I entered here. So I'm going to have a chat with his owner. I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell us how his journey of dogs started and how he has managed to have such calm dogs. So keep watching, keep subscribing, and also do not forget to hit the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. I'm your girl Linda Kenyita and this is Dog TV Kenya, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. So let's go to our host and let him introduce himself. Hey, sir. Jambo. So introduce yourself. I'm Kennedy Okotha Luoch, uh, I'm a breeder, and uh, my breeding name, I'm called uh, Blackman K9, yeah, from Nakuru. Okay. Blackman K9, so how long have you had dogs? Uh, I think this is the fourth year, as per now in Nikki Count, breeding two years, I love you now for fun, two years, yeah. Who are now for fun two years? I always want to know because as uh, you wonder like for four years, what's the story before that? Did you have dogs? Did you love dogs? How how did you decide now? Mm, let me have dogs for fun now. Let's breed. How, how what's the story before that? Okay, nili penda umbwa tangu ni kuemdogo. My dad ali kona yo and pia we used to have a neighbor when ali kona umbwa. So nili kozi kwa hi apa tu apa compound apa. So inye nililelewa nazo nikiwaona eh, so nilipenda from utoi then baadaye nika lose contact na mbwa cause ya mzazi aliona naingiza mchezo kwa, kwa naacha masomo sana naingia upande wa wanyama wa nyama kitu kama hiyo so ndo baadaye nikakuja nikanota pana i need those things for to have fun with them baadaye nikakuja nika change into sasa business yeah. um, which now no, on your on your personal side now after you decided now, let me get the dogs back. Which was your first breed? Uh, I think it was a crossbreed. Yeah, German Shepherd na Rotwella. It was a girl named Dice. Yeah. And now from there, you've progressed. You have what other breeds now? How many breeds do you have here? What's the breeds that you have here? I have a Boabel, I have German Shepherd. I have a Great Dane Upper and I have a Maltese, a special one. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, why are they special? <laughs> uh, and the same Maltese are so fun. Kuliko is the peace things, kitu kama hiyo. Maltese, somehow, zikona, first of all, it's going to make it poor. Second of all, pia ni dogi zinasikia maneno very fast, kitu kama hiyo. Yeah. Now, the relationship with your dogs, when we the dogs are not barking, the dogs are very calm, they are very friendly. How is that? Uh, first, you must talk to your dogs. Yeah, na si lazima zipitie that training. Yeah, ndo zikuwe educated kitu kama hiyo. First, unonge tu nazo, make it a routine. Kama ni every morning, tunafanya ABCD, watch as your routine. Kama unafaa kusapos kupokea visitors, watch as your kuna visitors pia unakuja. Yeah, in the morning, I talk to them. I told them kuna was going to come. And maybe it will be a very good thing because it's our first time on TV. To come here. Now, it's a good step for us. So, people, you see, talk to your dogs. Your dogs know you. Your dogs will listen. These dogs were told that we are be on your best behavior because you're going to be on TV for the first time. <laughs> uh, now, when it comes to dealing with the dogs, how how did you manage now to get from now it's it's a hobby to now breeding information wise how have you managed to make that in your cruise from fun to now let's bear okay eh uh, nilikuwa napenda kutembeza umbwa yenye every day nilikuwa natoka na dogi na tunaenda for for a walk maybe in the morning tuseme maybe kesho maybe jioni kitu kama hiyo so unapata watu wengi wanakuuliza niuzie 
nilizie naambia hapana siuzi but naweza refer to someone mwenye anaweza kuzia so at first nilifanya so many refers kwa breeders enda kwa nani enda kwa nani enda kwa nani so baadaye nikakuja nikaona je first of all sina job ile poa yenye nafanya yenye itani ita, ita ni sustain but wacha ni jaribu hii the dog thing cause niko na so many numbers kwa my phone kwa naangalia naona dogi 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 eh niko na hapana let me decide ni approach my wife kaka na chini kambia baby girl inafaa turuke kwingine na it's a journey yenye tutawacha so nikakatafuta vet mwenye alikuwa ananitibia dogi tukakaa nae pia chini eh cause first of all hizi wanyama ufai ku avoid madaktari lazima mtu tembee nao eh, so wakani advice kadha from hapo nikaanza pole pole nikaanza na bobel so nilikuwa nimefikisha seven bobels at that time so na hizi ilikuwa heavy feeders eh baadaye nikakuja kuona market ya bobel tena imeenda chini kitu kama hiyo cause ya so many things brokers wako hapo wengine maybe mse anachukua dogi from somewhere anakuja ana raise kidogo anaenda fed akisha yanda fed anakuja na kwa market anayuza at throw price but me advice watu naambia cheap is expensive na kuna venye utendo buy kitu something cheap baadaye itaku itaku disappoint eh, kama ulikuwa na buy for breeding umeenda for a cheaper thing then itakuja ku disappoint enda for kitu poa yenye kama unataka ku keep kwa market uta keep kwa market because your, your record na pia you socializing na watu poa kitu kama hiyo yeah no according to your setup you 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 in a estate how do, does your dogs relate to the people how do how do you manage not to have your dogs jumping around people because the one thing i know i notice is that uh when i go to kennels uh, dogs are excited and they are jumping jumping your dogs actually have taken time yes they are there they are walking around but they have taken time to get to me they didn't just jump jump on me they took time how uh, first of all in a full respect what uh, kuja pili una respect your dogs so nili approach pia watu kadha first kwa mta yenye nyumba 10 initiative kwambia i'm raising the dogs pale na naifanya kama biashara na na expect maybe clients kitu kama hiyo home cause hipo watu wana rush wana rush home kitu kama hiyo cause ya security purpose pia watu wengine not only mine so nikakuja na kuna muslim around us kuna kama hiyo so at first nikakuja na una introduce mgeni ndo na kitu kama kakiboko tu kadogo ya ku point na point kumuonesha no it is it, it is not a good thing kufanya kitu kama hiyo so second of all nikaanzisha hapa kwanza so nikatoka kwa nje ile una meet watu na mbio siogope ni wanyama watakusikiza ukiwaongelesha kitu kama hiyo so watu wameshazoea around hapa hata nikienda nje maybe for a walk ndenda nazo but utaona zikinusa nusa watu eh, maybe utaona yenye ko sensitive na wewe ndio utaona na itakuangalia iende kidogo lakini ni ki once ni mtaja jina itarudi back to the normal routine eh, na itembe no na you've mentioned that you are offering uh, boarding uh, services and uh, we have a uh, like a small puppy who's sleeping here how do you introduce a new dog to, to your kennel such that it comes they are comfortable with the other uh, dogs they are playing around how is it first of all uh, kuna this kennel there in a ni special you ni kuweka maybe new dogs or these to small dogs eh na kuja na muweka kwa hiyo kennel hapo for a while kama unaona ni open eh our dogs na kuja na wacha nje so utapata wananusa nusa pale kwa hiyo wa mesh wakimuona so baadaye e, nakuja na mfungulia after maybe a day nakuja na mfungulia everybody atakuwa na familia na hiyo rufu kwake hapa hivi so na hiyo hiyo sai ya rufu familia watatikia advantage to kumjua vizuri na pia atakuwa ame calm down cause at first hajagurumiwa amekaa hapo maybe tu akifanya mistake atolee mwenzake meno ndo sasa atapewa bite 
Yeah. Na si hizi zake ifike hapo cuz before ni introduce vizuri na kana ye for hiyo day maybe kesho after three days atakuwa very okay atakuwa one of them the pack. Yeah. Okay. You you mentioned a veterinary and like ukasema you have to this journey you can't walk without a vet and you have a dog that is recuperating from something like would you mind explaining to us what, what was the problem and also like you can kind of tell us uh, health challenges that you come you have come across when it comes to your dogs. Okay first of all eh tukubali magonjo ni mengi ya ma, wanyama na kwa kila mnyama kuna magonjo kuna so many challenges yenye utahitaji dawa utahitaji advices from nini from the vets cuz maybe ujafanya nini hiyo mambo na veterinarian so you need to talk to, to talk to them na to talk to them so kuna kama wawili wenye na operate now au wana offer services poor na kuna maybe the mean ni fair na nasema ni fair according to maybe nasema breeding kenye na kupea kidogo na uangalie what you spend to the maybe vets pia ni poor ni poor it's worth it yeah so th- this one is the pregnant one ah oh. mm-hmm. yeah ko 7 years mm-hmm. yeah so, alingia 7 years yeah mm-hmm. ko pregnant for 3 weeks i so diva ko karibu ku retire from uh, breeding mm-hmm. yeah into the last one Uh, from me to the last one uh, from apo akwa tulie akwa the boss lady sasa tu yeah okay and now uh will to say you have a pretty german shepherd there like uh, she's a rescue is, is she or she or he so she's a rescue what the story behind that eh alikuwa na kula kuku kwa the owner na alikuwa na kula kuku kwa the owner I think the owner li feel maybe eh kuku wafai kukufa so maybe akaona alimtocha eh, by, by the time nilimchukua alikuwa tortured na naweza sema alikuwa na very big wounds za panga kwa shingo kuku wa back alikuwa nazo mingi sana so it take time like five months to recover fast akai kuwa on stress eh appetite iko chini akuli eh, kitu kama hiyo aspanao niko naye na mwaka moja na nusu eh, i mean give you a bath once for nine puppies yeah and uh, uh, people i think uh, this is something i have to mention because it's uh, i don't know whether i call it coincidence because uh, before i came here i was reading a post somebody had uh, re- inquired online how they can stop uh, their dogs from eating and chasing chicken and somebody had said funga huyo mbwa pigie vizuri people that is not a way to deal with a dog first of all there is something called socialization of a dog which we've been talking and talking and talking about it uh if you are here i am now uh, you see all these dogs there are rabbits there and they are out I, i don't know whether babu can see those rabbits and and the dogs cannot they how are not a shugli they are minding their business and that is how a well socialized dog behaves and this thing you start training them when they are puppies no do not punish your dogs excessively because of eating chicken socialize your dogs well with your chicken people do, do not do that now uh, th- this is something important i had you say that you, you're not a trainer you, that, that's something that you not do but you, if let's say i'm a dog owner i have gotten a puppy and uh, maybe i do not have a trainer somewhere near me who can train my dogs how how now do i live with my dog respectively as you have done with yours okay always talk to your dogs first talk, talk, yeah. yeah always talk to your dog first mm-hmm. yeah they listen to people mm-hmm. yeah inyado kimsengenya atakuangalia eh na atakusikiza yeah but the moment pion ume praise atakusikiza mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. so talk to your dogs mm-hmm. yeah they listen you know the little point there the same talk to talk to your dogs they listen now when it comes to feeding your dogs what do you f- feed your dogs eh uh, ugali nyama yeah ugali like ugali eh uh-huh. unga number 2 uh-huh. na nyama maybe sometimes cabbage three times a week cabbage yeah 
So with Ugali, because this is the first time I'm na partner na Ugali. How when you are acquiring the the maize flour, una, how do you trust the maize flour? Because I've had that uh, aflotox. Yes, aflotoxin. Mm -hmm. Okay, na believe aflotoxin iko na nimeona ikifanyia wetu watu madhara ma breeders eh, so mimi ufanye hivi na nunua mahindi naweka si na, na siaga pole pole si siagi yote at once na utapata nimeanika ile kidogo yenye nataka kwenda kusiaga ya wiki na anika then nikisha anika nenda na siaga na kikisha zimekula within your one week imeisha then na nachukua tena another mahindi kitu kama hiyo cause ukiweka stock ni ngumu ku prevent vitu kama hizo. Eh unaweza stock maybe you mess ipate vitu kama hiyo wetu wetu kidogo na iko affected. Eh na then wewe ndio utakomeletea madhara umbo zako wewe mwenyewe. Eh so ni better naweza go usifanye budget kubwa sana yenye itakuumizia pia umbo baadaye. So fanya ile kidogo yenye unaona wiki mbili hizo umbo ziko sorted ndio chakula iko ABCD. Imeisha ya wiki nyingine mbili ama moja hivyo but ukifanya at bulk it's more cheaper but wewe mwenyewe utakuwa unaumiza hawa dogi cause inafika mali unaweza pikia dogi leo kesho kisho kutwa alafu dogi zinaenda up zinakula kidogo zinakuwa chio chakula hapo mm. eh, so naye utaona maybe unaenda waste inaenda waste unataka kurudia kesho yake cause umepika more food na maybe uko na more bulk but hiyo chakula itakuja kuumiza umbo mwenyewe so ni better una kiasi unazipea for a week for a week or two unasiaga unazipea hivyo kama ni unga yeah now when it comes to pest control ticks and fleas uh, how do you maintain or is that a challenge how how do you deal with your dogs such that they are they are pest free okay nimesema mambo ya veterinary kitu kama hiyo at first pia mimi nilikuwa challenge umeona hapa kuna mchanga yenye mchanga is in attract kitu kama fleas na mites so eh kwa kuna mi water maybe leo kesho naruka kesho kuto na water so utapata nimeweka maji ni mwanga maji mwanga maji kuua hizo vitu alafu pia madawa then kuosha dogi eh, na kitu kingine pia eh, zinakuja different challenges cause utapata kuna hiyo time ya mvua kuna red ticks so lazima tu stick to your position uweka madawa kama ni hizo red ticks una spray kwa compound zinamaliza eh, kama ni hizo fleas una spray hiyo dawa maybe twice a month kwa area unamaliza kitu kama hiyo cause ikiyo ni so ni so challenging utapata umbo zako ime shed kilo manyoya ni mbaya zinashikwa na minji yeah. na zina affect umbo pia naona stressful hiyo mambo na stress inazishika umbo na stress ipo kwa wanyama advice to a dog lover out there or a new dog owner what advice would you give to them eh uh, advice to new owners kwanza eh uh, chukua umbo with a reason usichukua umbo bora umechukua mwingine yako nayo yeah chukua juu umeipenda chukua kwa uzuko ready ku take care it's a baby remember that it's a baby na wewe ni mtoto um introduce na unaona kama hapa nilikuwa na 13 babies so lazima wa feed na lazima wa oge lazima wa tembe yeah lazima wa socialize eh, so be ready to talk to him or her lazima keep record yake poa kama ni mambo na medications injections lazima keep record yake yeah so take a dog with a purpose yeah people take a dog with a purpose good advice so we go take the dogs for a walk So it's been awesome it's been wonderful hanging around here with Ken so we are going to take a walk and I'm going to say goodbye to you right now because we are going as we go so it's been awesome it's been beautiful I hope you've enjoyed this show I hope you've learned something because I I keep saying every time I I go to a place I pick new things like talk to your dogs it's talk to your dogs tell them we are having visitors behave uh, uh, for me that's a tip so it's been beautiful it's been awesome i'm your girl linda kenyita and this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers until the next episode my 12 nakuru county continues see you bye